Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of using a Nexus 7 tablet. This is the latest version of the Nexus 7. It's very thin, as you can see, really nice. It's got a black back, and it's really a very nice device to use. This particular device is running Android 4.4 KitKat, but this guide will also kind of help you through Android 4.2 or whichever one you're running, Jelly Bean or KitKat. Now let's get started by talking about the basics. This is the home screen, and as you can see I have apps. These are actually shortcuts to apps. And then I have app folders down here. We can tap on those and they open. Tap outside of them, they close. And if I want to move one of these around, we can tap and hold on it. It kind of highlights, and then I can drag it around, or I can simply remove it. Or if I want to create a folder, I drag it on top of another app and it creates a folder. If I want to name that folder, I can tap on the folder, tap in the bottom, it pops up the keyboard, I can name it, we'll just name it OK, and now it's named OK. If I want to open that back up and get rid of it, I just drag it out, and the folder's gone. So really simple, if I want to get rid of an icon, tap hold, drag to remove, and it's removed off this screen. Now it's not deleted from the device, it's simply dragged off of the home screen. And on Android, you have multiple home screens. So you can see if I scroll to the right or scroll to the left, we have other home screens as well. And you can see the wallpaper moves with it. So it's really nice and gives us a lot of flexibility. Now to get to the apps themselves, they're down in the app drawer. And we tap on this icon here in the center. We tap on that. And we've got some widgets. If I tap on the top, we can go to apps. Or if I could scroll through all of them, I'll eventually get to widgets. Now, say we have an application and we want to uninstall it. What we need to do is find the application we don't want to use anymore. Tap and hold. We, that will open one. I meant to actually tap and hold on that. So we'll go back. Tap hold. And it brings, gives us a couple options. We can drag it to the home screen just by holding on it, and you can see their outline. I can drag it to either of the home screens, any of them. I can drag it to the right, drag it to the left, and then place it here, and you can kind of see its silhouette or outline in the background. I can get app info by dragging it up to the app info, or I can drag it to uninstall and uninstall it, and it'll say, do you want to uninstall this app? In this case, I'll just hit cancel, but if you want to get rid of it, that's how you get rid of it. Now, one of the other things you need to know is we have widgets on Android. And widgets are app information that updates by itself. So in this case, this is the weather app. If I tap and hold on this one, this is a widget. And you can see I can drag it around just like on any other app. But if I drag and leave it on the desktop there, I'll say I want it to use my location. I'll hit OK. And you can see it's loading. It'll take a second. It's got my information. And now it's on my home screen. And here's the weather. Now if I tap and hold on it again, I can remove it or let go of it, and sometimes you'll get the option to resize it. In this case, we don't have that option. Uh, other times you can do that. You can drag it to another window, and then we can remove it. So really simple, very simple, and not much more to it than that. But one of the other things we need to know is the buttons on the bottom. So here you can see we have Home, we have Back, and then we have Previous Running App. So if I tap on that, you'll see the app that was open last. I can go back home, I can go back. If I'm in an application, I'll hit back, it'll bring me back to the last screen. Now the home button, if we tap and hold the home button, we have this little circle that appears and that's called Google Now. Google Now gives us relevant information based on the things we search for online. Now we do have to approve this so that it's not pulling this information unwillingly. But if we approve this, it will give us relevant information based on what I'm actually searching for online. So say I'm searching for my favorite sports team, and that sports team may be on next Sunday or whenever, and near that time, maybe they score a touchdown, it will pop in that information in the top in the notification center and just let me know that there's some new information. And it's really helpful. Maybe you've set an appointment in your calendar and you need to be somewhere and you gave it specific directions. This will let you know when you need to leave to get there on time. It's pretty, pretty interesting information and definitely worth checking out. There's a lot of different things you can do with it, and it's really helpful if you haven't used it before. 
Now we'll go back home and at the top you'll see we've got a little icon and it's giving me the current temperature and if I pull down this is called the notification window or notifications. If I pull down you'll see there's my, my app that's telling me the weather and then it's actually Google telling me the weather so I must check the weather an awful lot here. Now to clear these I can simply hit this button here and it will clear those notifications and this will let me know about emails or messages that have come in. It's really very handy. Now if I pull down on this side I get notifications. If I pull down on this side I get different settings and quick access to brightness and, and Wi-Fi and things like that. So it's really very useful and you can do that too with uh, two fingers if you're on a regular Android phone. So it's really nice. We can go to settings and we can hit back brings us back to the home screen and it's really very very nice. Now the other thing you may want to be using a lot at least it helps me out is voice search. So see this little microphone anytime you see that little microphone you can use your voice to search for something. So let's search for when the next Steeler game is. When is the next Steelers game? takes a moment and you can see this was the last one and it will give us the schedule down here. It's really helpful and really pretty simple and you can use your voice all throughout the operating system to type, search for images, all sorts of things. It's really very nice to use. Now you can see we do have some icons down here in the bottom. We can move those in and out just like we could before with the regular apps. I can move this folder in here. We can do whatever we'd like with this, arrange the whole device the way we'd like. And let me show you one final thing, how to change your wallpaper. Now if you see the home screen, tap and hold on a blank spot and it brings up the choose wallpaper. Now we can choose that from the gallery, the live wallpapers, photos, or wallpapers. So I'll just pick wallpapers and these are the stock default well, wallpapers. So if I pick one, I tap on set wallpaper, that will be my wallpaper. It's pretty nice. There's a ton of settings to be explored and check, to check out. You just go into settings and there's a bunch of other things here. Don't worry about messing anything up except maybe resetting the device. If you do run into backup and reset, you want to be careful with that. Otherwise, just feel free to explore and check it out. Let me know if you have any other questions or maybe you found something that I wasn't aware of. Please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.